Hey, 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 Tony Owens, Dusty Bowhunter. All right, now we got five on. How you guys doing? This got B. Burrell. How you doing there, uh, Mr. Burrell? So this is just kind of a, a test live stream because I'm going to have a channel update at 4 o'clock and I'm, I'm going to uh, schedule it. So 4 o'clock, just a channel update. Um, but for those of you that are on, just uh, the big update is tomorrow, um, tomorrow between 6 and 7 o'clock Mountain Time, I'm going to have a live stream and we are going to have Walter Bunning on. Walter Bunning, he's a... Uh, He's on the road right now and he's going to be stopping in, so I just wanted to let everyone know if you want to say hi to Walter, tomorrow night will be your chance. Oh no, Dusty Bohart got a broken arm. Tell us what happened. Can you guys hear me? Michael Swarm, how you doing there partner? We got a new guy, STR HSP. <laughs> Michael Swarm sweating. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet you are. I'll, I'll bet you are. Okay, there. I know I'm, I'm on. I know I'm on. Okay. Dusty Old Hunter, garage door spring, spring hit it and cut halfway through my arm but I am recovering well. Wow, so the garage door spring hit it and cut halfway through my arm but I am recovering well. Hey, Ken Thomas, uh, he says he's on the road. Hi to everyone. Okay, everyone that's listening, uh, uh, two and a half hours, I'm gonna have a channel update. Uh, I'm not gonna be uh, very long here right now. I just wanna make sure everything was running. This is just a test run. Um, tomorrow, um, we're going to have uh, my first guest ever, uh, um, Walter Bunning. I can't think of a better guy. Walter Bunning's going to be sitting right here with me. He's on vacation. We're going to go get some barbecue. My, with, my wife and I are going to take him to barbecue, and then we're going to come back, and he's going to sit right here, and you know, we're going to uh, just say hi to everybody and just have a good chat. So in two and a half hours, um, just be a live stream chat. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we can talk about. And uh, I want to hear what you guys have been doing. I'll tell you guys what I've been up to. Dale Me, greetings my brother, enjoying a good cup of Colombian coffee. And wish I could share it with you. Just got back from Colombia. You know, I was thinking about you the other day, Dale. I saw this, this neatest, um, I saw this, this neatest little handheld uh, bean, you can roast your beans in it. And, and I thought, man, uh, Dale Mead, he gets the freshest beans right from Columbia. I thought, man, I'd love to have some of that good stuff Dale has. I was thinking about you. It is, it's nice to hear from you. So real quick, I will tell everybody what we've been up to. Uh, this is what we're going to talk about in the live stream update, but since you guys are here, I'll just tell you, um, you haven't seen a lot of videos coming out. That's because um, um, the reason you haven't seen a lot of videos come out is because it's been in the hundreds every day. It's been too hot. It's been too hot in the garage. Um, and I can't run my air conditioner and make videos because it cancels the noise out. Um, but the other thing is, for those of you that don't know, our mother, 
my wife's mother, my mother-in-law, broke her hip seven or eight weeks ago, and she is in rehab about 10 minutes from us. So most nights of the week and on weekends, we go over there just to be with her. She'll be out of there in uh, about two more Tuesdays. She's done. And what's going to happen is we're going to start caretaking for her on the weekend. She'll be with us. So um, the other thing we've been doing on the weekends, we've been going to her house, getting her house all straightened up, you know. So, so we've been pretty busy. The timing, I guess, if you're going to be busy was good because it's too hot to make videos anyway. But once it cools off, we're going to start doing, I'll get back to my videos and we'll, we'll just keep it running. So... It's a lot said. What is everybody? What is everybody doing today? We know the Dusty Bowhunter. Okay, Dusty, give us details on your arm. The spring broke, cut halfway through your arm. What part of your arm did the spring cut? And why? What were you doing with the spring? Were you working on that spring? So Hoghead sixty nine. He says he's doing family stuff. I'm going to call some names out while you guys tell me what you're doing today. We have Tony Owens, Dusty Bowhunter, B. Burrell, Michael Swarm, and we have a new guy. Everybody say hi to this guy, S-T-R-A-H-S-B. He says he finally got in. That's awesome. Uh, okay, to the new guy, to the new guy, make sure you go to Facebook. And go to there. We got Ken Thomas, Dale Mead, Hoghead69, Tim Pace. So, yeah, go to um, to the new guy. Go to 76 Highball Reloading Community on Facebook. The other one is go to here. On Facebook, you can go to 76 High Boy Chat. 76 Highball Reloading is where we talk about guns and ammo, and 76 High Boy Chat is where you can talk about whatever you want pictures of whatever you want to put on there okay so Dusty's saying I hit my forearm and I'm working on it and took the wrong bolt out and it broke loose four hour surgery it took yeah garage door springs man if those bite you you're in a world of hurt and it's it's over it's done you don't even know there's it's so fast well we're gonna be praying for you as a matter of fact uh, you guys don't mind, I'm going to just bow my head and I want to pray for Dusty, okay? Lord, Father in heaven, I just want to take this time and, and lift uh, Brother Dusty up. And uh, Father, I just pray that you put your healing hand on him and bring him back to 100%. And I also pray, Lord, that if something happens, he can never shoot again. I pray he would do this responsible thing and send me his guns. But no, no, no. Really, Father, I just I pray for him and, and we all lift him up and just pray that you'd bring healing and you would give him full use of his arm back so he could get back to shooting and uh, just doing everything that he uh, would like to do. You just pray this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right. That's for you, Dusty. Um, uh, I, gonna, I was going to say, thank the good Lord it did not hit your face. Uh, to be honest with you, I have worked on the uh, garage door springs in the past. But I don't anymore. I just call a professional out, and, and I just let the professionals play with the garage door. You're welcome, Dusty. You're very welcome. If you need prayer, you, you let me know. You can go on the Facebook and ask for prayer anytime. Anytime someone wants prayer, I will always pray for them. All right, so now let's see. B. Burrell, he's stuck in New York. He says he's sitting in a hotel today waiting hopefully for... Connecting flights home tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a tough situation to be in. 
Uh, yeah, uh, Michael Swarm, he says, uh, okay, Hoghead69, he's doing family stuff. Michael Swarm says, I heard you were terribly hot there. I guess it was hotter here um, three days ago than Phoenix, Arizona. Um, it was 108, but I, I, okay. Uh, Thursday, Thursday, it was like 106 or 105. I mean, what's the difference between 105 and 108, right? There's no difference. And that day got me pretty good. So, I worked all day, and my wife and I went to see our mother, and we had dinner with her at the rehab. But I came home, took a shower, and I went to bed at 7 o'clock. I took some electrolyte tablets. Um, I drank some water. I went to bed at 7 o'clock. I woke up the next day at 5 o'clock, so I got 10 hours sleep, and I felt fantastic. So, the next day, uh, okay, that day it got 108. Now that I remember, that day was 108. Then Friday, I think that day was 103, and uh, I felt great. I went all the way through Friday, and, I'm, and I mowed the lawn this morning. It, it, it uh, was uh, only 62 this morning, so I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I, I, I try not to let the heat get me down. Lots of water and just know my limitation. Uh, tell me, the sudden glare when you took your cap off blinded the camera, but the prayer was right on. Hey, you know what, uh, Dale? Got you covered, brother. Got you covered. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Um, you know, I could tell you that's from being married, but it's not. In my marriage, I'm the one that's got it easy. My wife's the one that should look like this. I mean, my wife should be the one looking bald, but it's me. You know, maybe it's from raising kids. Maybe, maybe it's from too much of this, the blowback, just the constant blowback. I don't know. Maybe it's because I like to drive, you know, my four-wheel drive too fast. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, okay, I'm going to read some more. Uh, you guys talk all you want. I'll read your comments. No... No bueno, no bueno, no bueno, no plano, no plano, no bueno, Mr. Burrell. I don't know what the humidity was. I, I don't know. I, you know, I never, it, I, I don't think it was really bad, to be honest with you. Um, what's funny is when I go to work, I just focus on getting the job done. I just, I just, you know, when I go to work, I don't like, um, I just always be positive and happy, no matter if it's raining, snowing, hot, high humidity, low humidity, you know. Tony Owens, it, it's been somewhat cooler here than usual this time of year. Still, the humidity here is pretty rough. Wow. Yeah. Well, the humidity's high. That's, that's tough. Takes a lot out of you. Oh, Dale's saying, probably from where she hit you with that 2 by 4 No, that would be my backside. Maybe that's, that's from the, the pot and pans, you know. You know what, Dell? You know what this is from? Raising kids. Raising kids. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Swarm, we have been in mid to 90s high humidity. Ah, that's tough, tough, you know. Dusty Bowhunter, know anything about a 300 Ruger compact Magnum? Finally found one a few weeks ago and picked it up. Can't wait to shoot it. You know, I don't know anything about that critter. Um, who knows who knows about the 300 Ruger compact magnum I don't know anything about it probably fun B Braille says high humidity makes things miserable yeah I agree I gotta admit it wasn't miserable um, when we were at 108 and 105 it wasn't miserable it, it was just flat hot now can I ask you guys a question can I ask a question I just want to know can I ask a question Oh, I gotta tell one of my guys I, I'm on here. Hang on. If I don't if I don't tell Nick I'm on here, he's not gonna be happy. Okay, there. 
I just texted Nick. Nick should be on any minute. If I don't tell him, he can be really upset at me. Um, okay, Tony says, I'm weird in that I love to be sweaty. Um, Del Mead says, tell Dusty Bowhunter those Ruger 300s are a piece of junk. He should send it to me for a proper disposal and buy a 4570. Oh, see... Dale me, he he's he's full of energy today. Yeah, he's stirring the pot. Why? Because he's got Colombian coffee. He's good. If Dale wants to stir the pot and drink his Colombian coffee, hey, what can we do? Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question, but it might kind of step on Tony Owens' feet. I don't know. He says, I'm weird in that I love to be sweaty. Alright. What is up with, like, people that when they take their break, like, let's say someone's going to take their lunch and it's 108 degrees out. Why does someone go take their lunch on a picnic table or um, they sit on an office chair outside or they go sit in the grass in the middle of the sun or... They lean against the building in the alley for a half an hour when it's 108. When, if they moved over 10 feet, they'd be in the shade. Is it me or if you guys were working? Hey, Lev W, guys, Lev W, say hi, Lev W. The question is, is if you guys were working, whether it's indoor or outdoor, and it was time to take your break, in 108 degrees, would you stand in the sun for 30 minutes, or would you find a shade tree? I'm just curious. I, hey, Riggs. Riggs is I'm all about the shade. Now, okay, I'm going to say something about what Riggs just said. See, this is why construction workers are smart. Construction workers, or let's say road workers, they're out there working. When it's time for the break, they grab their lunches, and they go sit down in the shade. Even if they got to sit next to a piece of heavy equipment, you know? Uh, Michael's form, son, big brains. Maybe, maybe their brains are big. KJ Shooter's on. Hey, guys, say hi to KJ. So, I'm curious. Nick L., hello, hi, boy. Say hello to Miss Hi, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't respond back to you, Nick. Uh, we've, been, we've been screaming busy, but we finally got all caught up. I mean, right now... As I'm sitting here, the only thing I don't have is a cup of Colombian coffee, but Del me, he's drinking his coffee, but we, hey, I got a cream soda right here. Okay. Hello, Mr. Miss Highboy and crew. Luckily, went, went over to YouTube and I found you live. That is so awesome. Um, okay, so now that everyone, we got more people on, this is only a test chat. In two hours and 20 minutes, I'm going to have a channel update. Um, just kind of telling you where, what's going on, why you haven't seen a lot of videos. It's so hot in the garage. Um, but we're going to also talk about what you're going to see tomorrow because Walter Bunning is on his, uh, his motorcycle heading our way and when we get off work we're gonna go and have some barbecue with Walter Bunning and then he's gonna come back here and you guys are gonna see him live and you guys can can talk to Walter and get to know him we'll have a we'll have a Walter Bunning of a time so yeah um, yes Nick I will say hi to Miss Highboy K is on and then uh, Nick L okay just checking in says Nick Tony Owens not air conditioned in my mill usually cooler outside than in depending on how hot it is sometimes I sit in my truck where it is warmer so that when I go back it feels cooler while working so everyone I'm asking the question the question is is if the temperature is a hundred and eight degrees and you work inside or you don't work inside you work kind of inside and outside are you going to go outside and stand in the Sun for 30 minutes when it's 108 degrees or are you gonna go in the shade I just want to know Sun or shade 
Dusty Bowhunter, Tony Owens, I'm the same way. UPS is too tight to pack AC in the trucks. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I understand that. <laughs> okay, am I missing something? Dell says, will do, Tony. He kind of loses it when he drinks that cream soda stuff. What am I lo Oh... You're talking about my bald hair. No, my bald head. Nick L. Shade, I'm with you. We were talking about the subtle hints you made about the coffee that Dale's drinking, and so they're saying just send him some coffee, enough of the hints. Oh, yeah. Hey, Linda? What? Do we get any pie? <laughs> uh, let me check. <laughs> Hey, you guys watch, watch, watch this. <laughs> P-Burrell, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you guys watch what she's going to bring me. Hey. Um, when I get off of this live chat, I'm going to post a pic of Reggie's Veggies. It's a, it's a local... It's a local produce stand in our area. This guy's been running this for years. And so they get, you know, all the fresh veggies in. And so it's harvest. It's, it's harvest right now. Um, which all you guys understand what that means. If you were an Antifa, we would all have to stop and explain to them what harvest is. But we all know. We, we all understand what harvest is. So, okay. There's this lady, and she makes these pies. And she makes them, and she delivers them to Reggie's Veggies. But the only ingredient she uses in the way of the fruit is the fruits that she gets from Reggie's Veggies, and she gets, it's all local. As a matter of fact, if he doesn't have cherries there, there's no cherry pie. She just doesn't go buy cherries wherever she gets them fresh from Reggie's Veggies, and she makes the pies, and she takes them back to Reggie's Veggies, and she sells them. They're $13 a pie. So we've been eating um, uh, pies like, let's say, peach and huckleberry, apple, uh, apple, uh, huckleberry, uh, peach pies. We, we've just been having all these pies. And strawberry huckleberry and she doesn't put any sugar in them i'm not all the fruit is it's uh it's ripened it's fresh and she makes them and it's the best so my awesome wife right now is bringing me a piece of this pie you guys gotta check this out <laughs> you're so awesome thank you i'll bring you scenty later oh yeah and we've been making sun tea. Sun tea. Okay, guys. Look at that. Is that incredible? Reggie's veggies. It was all grown locally. It's peach huckleberry. So, hang on. Hang on. The things I do for you guys. The things I do. Okay. <laughs> Nick L. Oh, it's apple. Oh, yeah, it's apple uh, huckleberry. Um, Nick is going to be right over. He's going to have some. Tony Owens, I just tried to eat my screen rigs. Oh, man, you're just being showing that extra pie. You know, I think that that's really sad if someone lives somewhere where you don't have like fresh produce and you don't have people local area that make pies. Yeah, my wife rolling on the floor laughing. Here we go. Do you guys like that? So we got this, uh, this sun tea my wife made. It's really good. I know. Um, Web W, where did she find local grown whipped cream? 
Now, that I can't tell you, but it is Land O'Lake. It's, it's good. And um, Nick says, Miss Highboy treats you too good. Oh, Costco, you blew it, you blew it. Oh, mmm, mmm. I love whipped cream. I do. That's like one of my weaknesses in life. So let me tell you how this uh, apple huckleberry pie is. Mmm. Don't know yet. All right, here we go. Several years back, my wife and I, we go to Reggie's Veggies. True story. If I'm lying, my wife will come out here and say I'm lying. We go to Reggie's Veggies and there's these pies. And they're cherries. Cherry pies. And we're like, drool. We're like, oh. So we buy a cherry pie. We come home right away. We cut into it and we eat it. And we both said, that's the best cherry pie we've ever had. We had cherry pie on our minds. Well, the next day was Sunday. Reggie's Veggies was closed. So the next weekend, it's like a Saturday, I think. We go over there, and there's one cherry pie left. My wife and I, all week long, were saying that was the best crust we ever had. Period. We both agreed. So we're on our way to get this cherry pie. And we get there and there's one cherry pie left. And remember, they're only made in season. Get them while they got them. And we grab the cherry pie. And my wife's standing next to me. And all of a sudden, this little, little old lady with her purse comes up behind us. And she says, you got any more cherry pies? And they said, no, they got the last one. And she says, oh, I drove all the way from the airport just for a cherry pie. So we go, here you go. You can have our cherry pie. And so we missed out. And she, no, she didn't have any more pies. I don't think she did. I, I could be wrong. But it wouldn't matter, because even if she had another pie, it's not cherry, because the cherries are the best. But this gal, she, she makes the best pies and the best crust. So if, okay, I'm punching out, says Brell. If everything goes well, I'll be on a plane back home, but we'll probably miss the next chat. Hope all is well. Be safe. Okay, buddy, fly safe. Uh, I want to pray for Brett. Uh, Lord, we just pray for Brett. We pray, Father, that you would uh, just uh, see him safely through his flight, give him rest so when he gets home, he, he uh, can just go home and relax. And so, Father, we just pray that your will would be done in his life, and we thank you for him being an awesome brother. In your son, Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's awesome. So, all right. <clears throat> but now, this brings me to this. Where are you at, K? 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 K, come on, K, come on, come on, K, come on, come on, come on. I gotta tell you about my wife, but K's gotta be here, cause this is wrong. This is wrong in every sense of the word. I don't know where K's at, but I'm gonna tell you guys this. So we have this pie in on the counter this morning. We get up, and here's this beautiful pie. Beautiful pie. You guys saw how good it looked. I just couldn't wait to have some pie. So I go out to mow the lawn. I'm mowing the lawn. I mow the lawn. I pull the weeds. I put the fertilizer down. I blow everything off with the, 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 the blower. I get done. I come in, and there's a piece of pie gone. And I said, did you have some pie? And my wife said, oh, I had a piece. What do you got to say about that, Kay? Kay, come on, Kay. <laughs> did you hear my story, Kay? 
Did you, did, did, you didn't hear my story. Okay, my story goes like this. So this morning when we woke up, we had this pie on the, on the kitchen counter. This is wrong, okay? The pie's on the kitchen counter. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm going to brew some coffee and have some pie, but then no, I got to go mow the lawn. So I, I go, yeah, she fixed me eggs. Oh, yeah, my wife fixed me eggs in a yogurt. Oh, here, big boy, let me feed you before you go mow. So I go mow the lawn, and I had to mow it twice and bag it. It was so long. You know, my, my craft and mower kind of died, you know, kept dying. So I mowed the lawn twice, fully fertilized it, pulled the weeds, did all the other little things, right? And then I took the and blew all the sidewalk and patio off and get everything done, go in, and there's a piece of pie conveniently missing. Oh, Miss High Boy. Oh. <laughs> my wife says, uh, uh, my wife says, um, I fixed him eggs before he mowed the lawn. I needed something to eat before I fixed him the rest of his breakfast. Oh yeah, she just needed some pie, you know. And um, then she says, I went to Walmart while he mowed the lawn. Yeah, she did. And uh, she, says, she says, I'm about to lose my piece of pie. <laughs> you know what? She deserved it. She could add the whole pie and I would have been happy for her. But, hey, don't you, don't you think that was sad for me? Don't you think, hey, that was kind of sad for me? Or are you on Miss Highboy's side? I just want to know. Mm. Where's Sniper Bill? Sniper Bill should be in this. My wife says, you ask for eggs, you're in trouble. Mm. <laughs> okay, he says, you're a hardworking guy and a better husband. Well, now I feel guilty. You know what? I'm glad she had the pie. I, I, my wife could eat the whole pie and I would have been happy. Of course, it's Sunday. Reggie's veggies is closed, so I couldn't have had any more pie until tomorrow. Oh, this is so good. Okay. So, we're going to... Does anyone have something they want to say before we sign off? In about two hours, I'm going to have a channel update. Um, channel update. Still me. Yeah, send me your address again, and I will pop off a bag of coffee to you as long as you promise to lay off that cream soda junk. Yeah, I need to. I, I, you know, I don't drink a lot of soda, so actually we agreed we're not buying anymore. We're drinking off the last of it. I got to see if I still have you, Dale, in my contacts. In my contacts. Hey, Dale, I don't have you in my contacts. What's that for? Oh! No! She, there's no more pie. She just pulling my leg. Okay, so Dale Mead at, Dale Mead at Hotmail.com. Okay. What pie will I have at six? Well, obviously none now. Yeah, she did tell me, didn't she? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um. So in two hours, I'm gonna have a live stream channel update. I'm gonna go announce it on Facebook, and I'm gonna schedule it. So hopefully the Facebook guys and gals will be on now. Tomorrow night, Walter Bunning is going to be right here. Um, I'm not, I, I can't imagine it'll go late any, it'll start any later than 7. But I don't know how 
what time he'll be here, what time we'll eat, and how long it'll take at the restaurant. But when we get off work, we're going to go eat some barbecue from a local barbecue house, and we're going to come back here and turn a live stream on. So if you get a chance, just pop in and say hi to Walter. He'll be my first guest. Hey, Desaad! <laughs> going to be live in two hours, channel update. <laughs> um, that's my time. Six... It'll be between 6 and 7, I'm thinking, tomorrow night. It's, that's my best guess, and that's my time, 6 or 7 Mountain Time. Tony Owens is saying, God has put me in a better place financially, and will have full shop with reloading bits up and running in less than a year. Looking forward to it. That's awesome. Love W. Yes, we'll catch you later. So, okay, I'm going to count everyone's, uh, I'm going to call everyone out, so everybody... Type the word out, and I will call you, and I'll call your name out, and we'll see you in two hours. Nick L, out. Tim Pace, out. Desaad Shadu, out. Dale Mead, out. Tony Owens, over and out, Ghost Rider. <laughs> Hey, Gray, how you doing? It's so good to see you. Hi, hi, boy, no pie left. Darn, I know. <laughs> yeah, in two hours to saw it, I'll be on. Paul F., hey, we got a new guy, Paul F., by out. Two hours, Paul, live stream channel update to let you know what's going on with the videos. Riggs, 10-7, he's out. Desaad, you're awesome. You're a good man. Where's K? Can we really be out of it? K doesn't say out. Mm. There's K. We, we don't leave K behind. Our bill. Okay. So there we are. All right. See you in two hours. We are out in three, two, one.